Oh, so you today have your first inner squad inner squad scrimmage. So you have had what a week of practices now, and this will be the first time really like taking the dust off and seeing what you got. I- is that where you're at? Yeah, I mean we've done live contact. We've done some live. Um, we're a little bit hesitant to do it when it was a tsunami on Wednesday night. Um, that was slated to be the first, you know, kind of buckle up and go. But we're we're trying to baby step when the luxury doesn't exist. So it's kind of a uh, um, building the plane as we fly it type of mentality here. Oh, I like that. You jumped off the cl- you jumped off the runway. You're trying to build the plane on the way. Down. What does Buzz Lightyear say? It's not flying. It's falling with grace. Uh, maybe maybe that's, that's gonna, it. That's maybe that's going to be the sixth game. So I've been, I've been asking a lot of coaches. Are you even trying to get to the full playbook this year, or, or have you had to simplify, simplify, simplify with what you got on offense? Yeah, we try to, with installation purposes, go as much as the kids know. Um, but what is kind of unique is we've done more instruction through meetings and uh, Zooms and Google Meets and Google Classroom. We're fortunate to have football PE classes here, so it's, I've seen my kids. We've been coaching our kids just in little bitty blocks, not in person. Um, and uh, so I, I'd like to think, at least as far as you know, schematics, we're we're on par for what we'd want to be, but it doesn't always translate, as we all know. Um, it's more of the blocking and tackling and, 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 you know, the conditioning and that type of stuff that we're a little bit more nervous about because not everyone's been dealt the same hand. You know, we, we were really limited at what we could do at our site. We had to start our own club team to even get access to our kids uh, where there were some places they haven't stopped since July. Some people have not stopped, um, at least with seven on seven and, and training. And, and we've had, we've had some hiatus hit within. Um, we're not, you know, we've been working, uh, but not football until you're, you know, put a helmet on. You mentioned the kids being seen only in these little uh, several pixel large boxes. Any of them show up and you're like, wait, 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 wait. You were 5'7", 115 pounds last time I saw you. Now you're 6'3". Like anyone hit a growth spurt where you're like, wait, are you the same kid? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's, they've had three off seasons, you know, if you really want to think about it. And the majority of our guys really care and they train and they have been working. Um, you know, their biceps are huge, but I don't know how flexible they all are. You know, it's, it's a lot of it's going to be the beach lifts. And we've prescribed a lot of different uh, workouts all throughout. We have a strength coach. We do do all those things. And we have a software program for our workouts. And it's just everyone knows it's not the same if you're not grinding with your teammates. So with that being said, yeah, there's some dudes that have been, been working, no doubt. And then on the flip, there's some that haven't. Maybe, you know, waist might be a little larger or uh, maybe a little thinner. And, you know, when you got a volume of, of kids that we have, I think you could probably check every box. You know, everyone has their own little story. Are the numbers looking okay? Where are you guys at as a program this year? We have 175 kids signed up for football. Okay, fair enough. You got a so couple. We, you got a couple. We got depth. We kept them, we kept them engaged. You know, I'm real proud of our community for uh, keeping kids in, involved. Now, uh, they're not all there every day because we have one kid playing three sports. We have uh, a, probably more than a quarter of them playing more than one at least at the same time. And so, you know, and then also numbers doesn't always dictate it's, it's tough to manage that many kids, especially with COVID restrictions. And a lot of times all three of our programs are on the same field at the same time. So we've got to be pretty creative. And these obstacles have have forced us to do that, um, to think out of the box and and do things a little untraditional. Like before inter squad scrimmage, we did a big Google meet. There was 81 people in it, the players and the coaches, and we did breakout rooms and uh, we went over the, the, you know, the installation calendar and depth charts. And we had kids, instead of stand up in depth, they uh, turn their camera on, turn the camera off or raise your hand or, you know. So uh, we've been making it work. There's a lot of dudes out here and it's freaking cool, but it's work. It's a lot of work. I feel like every football coach uh, across the state, the section, whatever you want to say, deserves like a nice gift basket at the end of this season for all the extra work you had to put in uh, with this. So uh, can you give us a couple of kids maybe to, to look forward to this season who, who you might feel are, are, are poised to have a really good year? Yeah, uh, one that kind of pops in your head is Chris Sanchez. Uh, he's a, a safety linebacker, receiver, all everything athlete. Uh, he was a really good player as a junior. I think he's going to be a great senior. Um, he's one of the guys that he's got Division two offers and looks, but he has a Division one frame and, and work ethic. He's a good student, too. Uh, I think if he would have started on time, he's at a Division One school. Uh, 
uh, late start, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. Um, but he's he's a talent. He's, he pops. You see him. He passes the eyeball test. He's super athletic. He's he loves it. He loves football. Um, he loves to work out. And he looks like it. So he's he's a guy. Uh, his, his running mate there, the Mike linebacker, Petey Patrick, is a returning starter as well. Uh, you talk, you ask, like, some of these guys look different. Petey looks different. Petey's probably 25 pounds of muscle more. Uh, his family is super into uh, training. He has an awesome home gym, and he lived in his gym. Like, the guy looks like a man. And so he'll play some offense too, uh, some fullback tight end stuff. Uh, but he's a guy that really stands out. Another is Jude Steffen. Uh, he's 6'4", 280-pound offense and defensive lineman. He's a converted volleyball player. So another guy that kind of had that huge growth, super committed to, to this and training and, and diet. Uh, he, he's a big old bubble butt kid that can move, and uh, he'll play both sides of the ball for us as well. Um, and so those three, you know, as far as the seniors go, and there's I could probably name the whole roster, to be honest, you know, if we want to go that route. I mean, I'm never going to stop no. a coach from listing off all. I feel like sometimes me asking that question is like, hey, which one's your favorite child? I know it's a it's a biased question, but it sounds like are you going to be rubbing, running some like double tight ends this year on offense? Because that might be a nice little look, it sounds like, uh, with what you got there. Do yeah. You- we, Go ahead. We will. We, I mean, we're super multiple. We, you'll see us in double tight. You'll see us in four wide. You'll see us in 20 and 21 personnel. When you have 77 kids on your varsity team, I think, uh, you do them a disservice if you don't do a lot, you know? And so we don't have 11 stars on offense. We have 16 because of all the different sub packages. Um, and same a, for defense. Do you have a Lippert on the team? Is there a Lippert on the team or no Lipperts this year? That's TBD okay. right now. Uh, he's on he, right now. He's, he's on the fence. He's planning on running track. He's going to win a state championship is his goal. And there is no state championship in football. Well, because I was going to uh, there say- is no section championship. Well, I was going to say, this, oh. this will be the first year you have not had a Lippert potentially in I don't even know how long. And they've always been one of the, the secret signature weapons of LCC for the last half decade. Are you trying to make me cry, Christian? No, I'm, I'm, with, to- no, I'm trying to cry too. I'm sad about this also. Um, yeah. You, 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 made- so it's, I, you know, I'll believe it when the, when, when, when the games go and the season's over. And if, he, and if he doesn't make it, I have nothing but love and respect for Aiden and his family. He's an awesome kid. I know it was a really difficult decision. For him and it's weighing heavy on his heart uh to not play with his teammates um but you know they it's it's there's a risk football is risky and and you get risk first reward he has a scholarship to run track at cal uh and he'll be racing against his brother at pac-12 championships because he's at stanford for the next four years but you know, i'll also tell you this i haven't given out the number one jersey so if any of you opposition coaches see one warming up you might want to bring an extra pair of uh, underwear to change Let's, let, let's picture that as like when Booby Miles comes back in and y'all want to win, put number one in. No, that didn't work well for Booby. Not Booby. Someone else. <laughs> Booby gets hurt. Come on, man. All right, fine. Fair, my, look, my, my, my references are rusty. It's been a year off for all of us. I, I, I called a player coach a couple of days ago. I'm all over the place. Um, I, I, it's spring training for me, too. You mentioned no section championships, no state championships, no technical championships in general this season. So where – are you looking at, is there somewhere that you're considering a success for this year? Where is the bar set? Like, what are you just looking forward to getting out of this season for the team? The fact that we've even had eight practices and an inner squad scrimmage and an hour is a one, we won. Everybody won. We all won. We're here. We're playing football. A lot of people thought it wasn't going to happen. Uh, everything else is icing at this case, at this point, you know, uh, you know, if you're into coaching just to win, you need to get out anyways. You know, this is about building the relationships and giving those experiences and giving the opportunities to the kids. And all of us are getting a chance to do that. Now, all that being said, I don't think there's many people as competitive as I am. Uh, you know, we want to win the football games and, you know, we want to beat our rivals and we want to, you know, have a chance to win a league championship and whatever that looks like this year. Sure. That's what we're doing. And to go have fun, and play football. You know, that's, that's what we're, that's what we got. We're playing every team in our league, but one, uh, Mission Hills is the only one we couldn't squeeze in. And so, shoot, that's that's plenty of uh, opportunity to test ourselves and, and see what type of group we have and, and give kids opportunity, the seniors, for a little swan song and the underclassmen some film to get recruited and, and just go do what we love. Get to go do what we love. So we're well, I, I, I sort of do look at it like that last game of the season might be a de facto championship vibe because you get to have Tory Pines. 
that la- it, that's that's the last game of your season, correct? Is Tory? Yeah, four sixteen is the beach bowl. That's right. So that one matters, but they all matter. Every game matters. They all matter. Uh, I bet if you were to ask, I was gonna say, I get you were to ask Ron, he would say the same thing. You know, we we're just happy to get those kids out there. But sure, everyone knows when that game is. Uh, it's at our place this year, and it's going to be a heck of a challenge. They're super talented. They've they've been one of those teams that's had a lot of opportunity to get ready. Uh, we know that, and uh, probably have a little catching up to do. But our guys are hungry and excited to. To get there so to, to be honest i have i'm not really thinking about them i'm just thinking about our kids today and san marcos next week you know you can, there's no one that we can look past so uh that's a trap you just sent me a trap well fair enough i've butchered my whole way through this interview so i will cut my losses and i will say thank you very much for wasting some of your time with lowering yourself to my level and, and some of our goofiness here on the show the lcc mavs are kicking off their season next week as they said against san marcos Coach, is there a way that people can follow all of your games this year uh, from a distance? Yeah, at lccfootball.com, we'll, uh, we have our all-pro uh, film film uh, uh, extraordinaire, our producer, our uh, commentator, our streamer, Steve Scoville with H2O Productions. If you're looking for some work, there's a free ad for you. Let's go. Uh, but he'll be getting all of our games streamed at lccfootball.com. There'll be a YouTube link every week. There you go. You can check them out all season long. Coach, thank you very much for joining us. I will improve my game for the next time we talk um, and or just – I, I will I will I will find my ways to send all the good juju and counteract all the ish that I just uh, uh, brought up here.